Tracy here with Mom Life today, and I'm joined by my friend Shanti Feldhahn. And Shanti, I'm sure you have read her book for women only because for me I love how you assume that. <laughs> well for me it's a staple and I've even given it as a gift. And then of course Aww, then there was so for men only and for parenting only. <laughs> but I know for women only is being re-released. So for those of us who've read it before, yes. what's new in there? Yeah, well we have been doing the research about men. We're actually re-releasing the updated versions of both for women okay. only and for men only. Okay. And um, and we've been doing the research ongoing ever since they first came out, mm -hmm. you know, it's been like eight, nine years, and we realized, Jeff and I were doing a marriage conference one day, and we stepped off the stage, and we looked at each other, and we said, you know, like, a third of what we just said isn't even in the books. Wow. Like, because we'd learned uh, so okay. much new stuff, right. and, you know, really important information, and whoa, good example, and we talk about how guys think, but we could never say before why they mm -hmm. think a certain way. And now we know so much more about the brain science. And so anyway, so we're really, really excited. <laughs> like, like for example, this is one of the new subjects okay. in there with about guys. Okay, because okay? you know we're all girls, so we need to, <laughs> so know, we about, need to know about we guys. We need to know about guys. Okay, we're about to be um, enlightened. <laughs> okay, so like for example, we have this thing where if something happens, we're like, why did he do that? We kind of have this. What was he thinking? No, I, I'm I not the only one. <laughs> and, and I didn't realize until I started looking on this, like, wait a minute. The translation of that is, what I'm saying is, he wasn't thinking. Mm, guilty. Yeah, and here's what I learned as I was researching guys, is guys think about everything. They just do it differently, because if we're thinking about something, <laughs> you know we're about talking. it. Oh, wait, we're now, talking now you're through. just stepping on my toes. <laughs> And with guys, they go underground. Right. It's actively difficult for the male brain to think something through while he's talking it through. Mm -hmm. So he thinks he does this little internal chess match, and and then it pops out the other end as a decision, and we go, Whoa. well, what about this? And it's like, he's thinking, I just spent three days <laughs> thinking about this. And so this is an example of one of the things that's like, realize if you ever go, oh, what was he thinking? Stop and think, okay, they promised me he has a reason. And you say, honey, help me understand. Right. What? And you hear this big, long reason. You're like, oh, my <laughs> gosh. He was thinking. <laughs> and so if that's an example yeah. of some of the new stuff in it that I just think is so important. I would think that matters to moms of boys. I mean, being the oh. mother of a boy that just turned 17, yes. that's probably something I really need to think about. Yes, because, you know, <laughs> Now, as a teenager, their frontal lobe hasn't developed yet, like the th the center of the brain that processes consequences. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't completely develop until the age of 22, and so, ish. And so sometimes <laughs> they won't have been thinking. <laughs> because okay. they, were, they were acting on impulse, but in much of the time they were. Right. So don't just assume that it was just complete idiocy, you know. Right. All right, yeah. good stuff. Well, who doesn't want to understand their men better, right? So I think we need to get for women only. And thanks for being with us, Shanti. Yes, absolutely. I hope you all go look for Shanti on her website at Shanti.com. And we'll see you next week on Mom Life Today. Bye, moms.